Uh, today I'm making a video about how to get one of these newfangled uh, Arduino Nano Clavin uh, devices to connect to your computer because they won't initially, your, your laptop won't recognize the device and you'll need to just download something on a link. So let me, let me show you that now. So if you get one of these uh, Nano Arduinos off Amazon for real cheap, like $13 for three of these buggers, all the bells and whistles, and then you you whip it out of your box, it has a little thank you letter, you're feeling so like like you just got like the deal of your lifetime, and you'll go and slap it into your computer, slap it into your computer, and it will turn on and start beeping. You can see I already modified the code, but um, if you're like 90% of other people, or me, which is actually probably like 90% of other people, uh, it won't it won't recognize the port right away. So you come over here, i.e. it won't just, it just won't work. So where's my Arduino? Here we go. Okay, so um, you'll have the typical Arduino code and uh, it won't work. You'll go to tools, and you'll click ports, and you will not see comms5 here, you will see an unaccessible port. So if you look up what you typically do, uh, you just go into your file manager, uh, go to your manager, uh, device manager, go down to ports, and you'd see uh, a little unknown 2 port right here. And uh, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't work. You can't update it. You can't find the update drivers on your computer. It won't come in the code. So what you have to do is go online and you type in ch three three where is it ch three four zero g driver and my internet's not working now but you click on this you click on the very first link and download the very first file at the top of the page from not a sketchy website and it will just start working. Don't have to do anything. I mean, you have to go back into the file manager and update the driver, but it's very nice. So you come back over here, you have your blink code. Uh, say you want to go um, maybe, you know, let's go what, 100, 100? And now we got a party. So yeah. And let me show you where you get that code from. Uh, I should be able to pick it up on the line. So you see that down there? That's the driver. And it's different from typical Arduinos, which is why it wasn't recognizing your computer. So anyways, hope this video helped you guys. Um, I know it took me a bit of YouTube trial and error to figure this out. So. Cheap Arduinos are awesome. Good night.